Okay, so this reads the previous it reads whatever, whatever took. It reads whatever you tell. No, 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 not what the points are. Right. Just the values of the of the cube. The what values of the cube that the we already, XYZ value. that we already took. Yeah, we measured it. Okay. We put them in. Okay. We only have to do that once. If we know where it is, we can read it. Exactly. Okay. Gotcha. And all right. So let's say at the beginning uh, of the day, I'm, uh, I'm I'm going to be running four elbow extension items that he set up. To make that read the same thing again, so I don't have to keep recalibrating the cube, what did we just do? That's different. What you're doing here is you're giving the, the file the values of the cube. Right, that's what I'm saying. How do we do that? We go to calibration, control, and then we say read. And, and then you pick the, the previous one. Okay, yeah. okay, gotcha. Now let's say, uh, um, let's go ahead. Let's say you want to copy the whole thing, all right? I, I want elbow, and I want three points, and I want right. four, and I want everything the same. I want the setup the same. Instead of going here, I say read from here. Okay. And I would read from this one, but I, I, we're not going to set the same. Okay. Let's see what happens if I read from itself. I won't do it. Didn't do it. Okay. So um, set it up again. We're doing the elbow, we're doing the inches, three points, uh, and number of controls, that's the four. Mm -hmm. uh, system of things is the same, hit OK. No, hit okay, control. Control. point IDs. Okay. That's right, point IDs. We said we're going to go right shoulder, right elbow, right wrist. And the control points. I thought we said we were doing already. Um, well, you have to read them in. That's the right way to yeah. so right. I'm not right. making life easier. Right, we're going to use the other one, the brown one. Right. Select the camera. This is the one we're using right here. Because mm -hmm. we named it. And we have two. Mm -hmm. One is calibration and one is a, we, got, we want the actual video first. That's good. Okay. Mm -hmm. Didn't come up here. No, nothing. Doesn't have to fit. Okay. Good. Now, what do we do before we digitize it? Thing, but what's the first step? Uh, before we digitize it, I mean, we, we already named it. Uh, we have to pick our central point here. We have to control things. We have to do the control. Right. So control. You want to digitize. I go back to control. And you have to open the video. And it's one video. One ABI. And where's the control? It's from files. Elbow. Right, so it's elbow, so this this was the control here, right? Say okay. So we'll use the first image. Uh -huh. Okay. Alright. And then look down here, it tells you what to do. The fixed point. Now this this you'll have written down someplace. We already right. decided that that's our first point. Then. Right. One, two, three, four. And then it tells me to go to control one. We said we want to go fast here. So we don't. Complete. Mm -hmm. have to tell control that you're finished with control. Okay. And then let's see. Right. Before you do that. Always go to automatic global options and check your options. Okay. In this case, we already know right. all advance is good, so we'll leave it on. I took the locate dialog out to make it faster for you. Okay. Um, weighted average you always leave on. And because it's 2D, you always leave on confirm missing point. Okay. That's good. Um, I think if it was 3D, you would 
if you have more than two cameras, you have three cameras. Right. We only need two points out of the three. Right. So you say take that off. So if it finds two points, it goes on to the next one. It doesn't need all three. Okay. So, but I guess my question is, why, why did you why did I just leave it off anyway? Because if it missed a point, you'd have to find it by hand. And if you say don't bother confirming it and you miss a point, then your data is not going to be accurate. We only have one camera. You only have one camera, and now you're missing a point. So why bother looking for another angle? Is that what you're telling me? Yeah, because it's not there. Okay, gotcha. But it's going to stop you and ask you to locate that point. Man, you're going to go crazy. Okay. All right. So again, we got to go to the fixed point right here. You can do it manually first, or go to green. Go to the, into the green, okay. and that starts the whole automatic digitizing process. Okay. So now go ahead and do what it says. Fixed point. Mm -hmm. The image is nice and clear getting, huh? Nice cameras. Very nice. Yeah. Also the the lights are fantastic. Yeah. Let me show you something. You don't even have to be in the center. Go off to the side a little bit. Just get in the white. It will find the center. Mm -hmm. That's yeah, right. Yeah, awesome. it's, okay. it's using yeah. what's it's called the center. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was good. I, I was like, wow, well, my aim's on. <laughs> it's using it's using what's called the centroid method. And what you do, you take all the pixels by the amount of light on it, and then it calculates the average them and find the center. Yeah. All right, all right. so we have the answer to the first frame, and you're off and running. It's unbelievable, this computer is so fast. <coughs> Usually it's going ping, 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 and here it's going non stop. Probably uh turn the volume down. That's okay. I like it in some of these four minutes of the Alright, let's see if it does it. If if it doesn't filter then we have to figure out why it's going. No, no, it does filter. <laughs> 